Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to embed a Mentimeter presentation directly into your Canva design. By the end of this video, you'll know how to bring your interactive Mentimeter polls, or really just about any web content, right into Canva, so your presentations and projects can be way more engaging and dynamic. This is perfect if you want to level up your visuals, add live polls, or share up-to-date content without ever leaving your Canva canvas. Let's jump right in. All right, let's get started. First things first, open up Canva. If you don't have an account yet, just head to their website, it's free, and you can follow along even on a basic plan. Once you're in, look for that big, friendly Create button, usually near the top right of your Canva dashboard. Go ahead and click that. This is your starting point for all new designs, and it's super handy because it lets you pick exactly what size and format you want your project to be. Next up, you'll see an option for custom size. Go ahead and select that. For this tutorial, I recommend setting your canvas size to 200 by 200 pixels. It might seem small, but don't worry, you can always adjust the dimensions later if you need to fit your specific project. We're doing this small size just to keep things clear and focused while we practice embedding. Once you've typed in those numbers, hit Create New Design. Canva will pop open a fresh, blank workspace for you to use. Now comes the fun part, adding that interactive Mentimeter link. On the left side of your Canva window, you'll see a menu. Look for the option that says Apps or Sometimes More. It might look like a grid of little squares. Click on that to open up Canva's app integrations. From here in the search bar, type the word Embed. This is Canva's way of letting you pull in content from the outside web, which opens up a ton of creative possibilities. Once you find the Embed app, select it and you'll see a space to paste a link. Here, where you drop in your Mentimeter page URL, just copy that web address directly from your browser and paste it right in. Now, if you're wondering whether you can embed other types of content, the answer is yes. The Embed app doesn't just work with Mentimeter. You can use it for YouTube videos, tweets, Facebook content, basically any link that Canva supports. Super powerful, right? After you've pasted your Mentimeter link, give Canva a second to load it in. It might take a few moments depending on your internet speed, so don't worry if it doesn't show up instantly. Once it loads, you'll see a preview right on your Canva canvas, and you can drag or resize it just like any other design element. Think of it like letting a window to your live Mentimeter poll sit comfortably inside your presentation. No need for your viewers to jump between tabs or tools. And that's it, you're done. You've just embedded live, interactive web content right into your Canva design. At this point, you can keep building out your project, add other design elements, or even go back and change the link if you want. Honestly, once you get the hang of using the Embed app in Canva, you'll find all sorts of creative ways to make your presentations stand out. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like, and if you have any questions or get stuck with any of the steps, just drop a comment below, I read them all and I'm happy to help out. For more easy-to-follow tutorials just like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.